She has not had an easy time of it the last couple of weeks on her videos. This is Itchy Boots Norley from the Netherlands. She's uh, She did a, a big trip across Asia, India, all the way to the Netherlands last year. Now she's doing uh, all the way from the tip, southern tip of Argentina, all the way to Alaska. She said it's going to take a year and a half to do this. And it's been amazing. So far, what she has done has been absolutely amazing. Uh, some of these very, you know, she's in the Atacama Desert, I guess, right now in northern Chile, northern Argentina. It's, 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 it's barren. And it, she goes up like, you know, 15,000 feet, up, you know, on these dirt roads, washboard roads, and, and there's nobody else up there. And it's an amazing, amazing what she's been doing. But now it looks like she's taking a break, maybe a long break. All right. I don't know if you can actually see something because it's a little bit dark here. But uh, I have a place. Oh, I'm just going <laughs> to like this. I can barely uh, hold up the camera at the moment. I'm just extremely tired. Um, I think it's a combination of things. Last night I barely slept uh, because in the place she was in a uh, you know a rooming house. She has sometimes she stays in these rooming houses that are really kind of gross. <laughs> There's a one place where you know it, there was literally you know no locks on the doors and and she couldn't sleep well and the stress was getting to her of the long ride and. So anyway, not everybody realizes how much work it is um, to bring out a video every other day and do all the writing and do logistics and you know sort out things for the no and maintenance and uh, and then I have the website with the blog and social media and uh, it's just too much. And uh, in the live chat, I already said that uh, if I want to last until Alaska, I need to also give myself some breaks. Uh, all right, so yeah, she's uh, talking about. Uh, you know, the incredible amount of, it's not just, it's not just the day-to-day -day driving. It's maintaining her vehicle, the Royal Himalayan, she calls it the No, uh, you know, and and the what's happening to that vehicle, high altitudes, bumpy roads, it needs repairs constantly, it needs work. It's difficult finding petrol, as she calls it, gasoline. I mean, some of these little towns, there's, sometimes there's hundreds of kilometers between gas stations and then she finds it closed. It's not like here where you, you know, every corner has a Shell station or an Exxon, you know. It, amazing, but, it, and she's what, 27? I think that's what she said her age was. It's amazing what she's doing, but it's wearing on her and you can tell. Um, I think both physically I'm really tired and I think mentally as well. Um, being on YouTube uh, and social media all the time, um, it, it costs energy, it takes energy. Uh, being exposed to, uh, I don't know, uh, anybody here having an opinion about you and um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just need a break from it all, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just need a rest, really need a rest. So I can continue the adventure with, you know, a lot of energy and... Yeah, right. She's got to want to enjoy it, okay? The last couple of weeks, it seems to me, watching her, because she's a must-watch. I have to, the minute she posts a video, I watch it. And it's been every two days. And traveling all around Tierra del Fuego, southern Argentina, into Chile, and back and forth, and back and forth, and up in the Andes, and amazing, amazing photography, and all that she's shooting with multiple cameras, and then she actually does these long all-day rides, and then actually finds time to sit down and edit and upload and put things together, and I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing what she's been doing, and I worry about her safety. I mean, she's, you know, a woman in her 20s, all by herself in some of these really deserted places. You know, you wonder, you worry about her. And and also look at her on the internet. 329,000 subs. She's got a nice channel. She's doing well. But yeah, you know, there's always the trolls, that 1% of crazy trolls and who knows what you know, she's giving away, I don't know how much of a delay there is in terms of where she is to where she's posting, but, you know, there are always the kooks and nuts out there, and it sounds like she's got a few of them on her case. 
Uh, and I think she's just plain worn out. I mean, come on. If I went to Argentina for two weeks and rode a motorcycle around, I'd be worn out. She's been doing this now for a couple of months. And it's amazing, with really no break. I don't have to stop like kind of halfway during the day, like today, because I'm just exhausted. So I think it's important to uh, take a rest um, and not work all the time. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is the last video for some time. I don't know yet how long, but uh, I think several weeks uh, that I'm going to take a rest. And I will not be doing that here. Um, I will go somewhere else um, to spend some time. I don't know yet exactly where, <laughs> but uh, I'll figure it out uh, tonight or tomorrow or something. And, uh, all right. Well, we yeah. wish her all the best. And, you know, a, a break. You know, I was thinking of a couple of days, right? I'm taking a break. For, I won't post for a couple more days. Maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month. Who knows? And how she's going to go somewhere else. I mean, she's not that far from Santiago, Chile. I guess she could ride back to Buenos Aires without too much trouble and hop a flight and go back to the Netherlands or go somewhere where she can at least relax, maybe, you know, I don't know. The places she's been at are not particularly, um, you know, you wouldn't want to, you know, they're interesting, fascinating desert type places, high altitude type places. But they're not like places where you would think you want to just kind of chill and relax and enjoy yourself. No, no, she's in, you know, down there. I'm sure on the coast of Chile, Chile, there's probably some nice resorts and stuff, probably near Santiago and stuff, that she could get a little place and just hang out there for a couple weeks and chill. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see where she ends up in terms of her, where she's going for her little break, how long it is. And then she'll come probably right back to where she is so she can continue her trek. But we wish Norley all the best. It is a tremendous achievement so far that what she's done. If, if she said right now, that's it, I'm done, I'm out of here, I'd say you did a good job. That was a wonderful series of videos. Uh, maybe you can do another circuit somewhere else in Latin America or Central America or, or North America or whatever, or Alaska. I mean, just to take a plane and fly up to Anchorage and then just b cycle around a a Alaska over the summer would also be cool enough for me. But to have to go there, <laughs> that's a long trek. You know, she's only like halfway up Chile or almost to northern Chile, northern Argentina. Then it's like Peru and Ecuador and Colombia. Those are dangerous places. Colombia, a single woman on the road in Colombia. I don't know, man. I would be a little worried about that. And then it's hopping over to Central America and all those countries and all those border crossings before you even hit Mexico. A single woman traveling through Mexico on a motorcycle. I'd be a little worried about that, you know, and then it's the United States and then Canada and back to Alaska and over to Alaska. So I don't know. She maybe set up a little too much here. I don't know. Maybe she's getting a little ahead of herself in terms of what she wants to do, what she would like to do. And I just hope she doesn't push herself too far. Okay, I, I do. I worry about her. I, I, I really want to hope she takes care of herself, doesn't push herself too far, and set up such a lofty goal that's too dangerous. You know, her health and her safety are far more important than her YouTube channel. That's what I'm saying. So, Norley, you take your break. You enjoy it. You think things out. If you want to change this around and not do one straight trip straight through, I would totally back that, you know, whatever. That's what I'm saying. So Norley taking a break from the uh, the grind, but it's been it's been an amazing trip so far. Go back and watch her channel for the last couple weeks. Uh, Argentina, Southern Argentina, it's just been some beautiful stuff. Absolutely gorgeous photography. Uh, nice people so far she's met, and uh, I, there's a whole lot of people, I'm sure, in the Netherlands and in the United States and all over the YouTube world that are pulling for her and wish her the best. So take care of yourself, Norley, and if you need to take a break, please do so and, and get be feel better. You know, you want to be enjoying this. You don't want to be doing this traveling trip if you're not enjoying it. And the last couple of weeks, it's kind of, she's kind of hinted like, eh, this is getting a little too much. All right, so that's the latest. Itchy Boots taking a break for a while. We'll let you know when she comes back. Vlog under.